Okay, so we are good to go to um, fuse the ultimate personas for uh, Naoya and Maki. I almost forgot his name. So I'm uh, I have the instruction manual beside me, uh, and when I was checking the table uh, at the end of the manual, which shows you which type of or which orders you have to combine to be able to fuse a certain order persona um, so apparently there aren't actually a lot of them which are fused into an emperor order persona so you had to do some um, conversating with the de conversating with demons to actually get the card that I needed and that is actually handy so when you hover over the item, you see what the resulting persona will be. That actually makes sense. Uh, mostly fire skills. Oh, that's nice. It has... So it is level 62, but the SP cost per casting is only 20. That's pretty good. Because I, I would guess that other normal personas around that level would consume maybe a 30 to 40 SP every time, so that's, yeah, that's, that's good. So it is definitely worth it to fuse these ultimate personas, apparently. Well, of course, but you know, yeah. So for Maki, you have to combine into a priestess order persona. Um, and there we go. Redondi, level 61. And of course, she has mostly support, supportive uh, skills available. Hmm. Nice. <clears throat> oh. Um. Please tell me that's not... I, I didn't lose the Persona, right? Ah, okay. No, I didn't. I, I thought that I couldn't actually... There wasn't actually room for Verdandi, so I thought I actually lost her. Alright, so as you can see, we are right outside of the boss room. So let's do it. That is a butthole right over your nose. Or, oh my god, yeah, whatever. I can't believe I didn't see that before. We're just gonna skip the dialogue. My god, why is her head so small compared to the other ones? I think there's something to this, that there's the fact that every time Maki casts a healing spell, she's actually healing for more than, I don't know, if Ellie does it, so I guess she just has more magic attack or whatever, which actually makes her heal for more. It does make sense if there's one stat which just affects both healing and attack skills. I keep saying spells or skills, but it should be skills because that's the term they are referring to. So skills, healing skills. I have no idea what that does. Ellie was actually weak to something, but nothing actually happened. Oh, you know, the skill actually might be listed in the manual somewhere. Hmm. 
I swear, there's something with items. SP restorative items during combat. They definitely restore much less than if you're not in combat. Okay, let's do this. So this is the phase that I wanted to get to. Uh, I'm mostly going to just attack with non-magical scales. Although I, it seems like I need to buff up myself a little bit more. Uh, I think my buffs were a reset. So mostly physical attacks or guns. So I will buff up my self with mostly Tarukaja. Oh. Oh, this is the wrong face. Ah, uh, my bad. Oh well, it's uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, we're supposed to use physical attacks here. Right, so this is the phase where we're supposed to use the magic attacks. Oh, which means I need to buff up my magic too. Um, let's see here. But I'm mostly going to focus on the phase where you are supposed to attack her with physical attacks, so... It doesn't really matter too much what I do in this phase. Honestly, I would just like to use as little magic as possible. Unless they are buffs. Because the buffs are actually worth it. Okay, she switches back, so we just have to attack her with physical attacks. And now we wait. Wait for someone to die.
I don't know how long it takes for him to, to, her, to switch between phases, though. to struggle a little bit to find <laughs> another persona for uh, Mark. One which is purely for him to be able to survive this fight. Because every other persona I was using on him, they were all weak to ice attacks, so he would just instantly die during this fight if I would have kept them. Oh, didn't I use uh, Tarukaja? That looked like something else. Oh no, I was using Oh, I was using Tetraja. Okay. That's oh it's the completely wrong persona. This is a little bit tedious because I'm re relying on this so much. But uh, yeah, I just have a feeling of the use doing this and using the weapons or guns or whatever, which is hits multiple times. It just will do more damage than any other kind of attack that I would try to use. I don't know. It just yeah, this fight just seems very centered around you using either your guns or your weapons for this. It's not really what I expected. Wow, I didn't know that they could heal for that much. Wasn't that just... but the, <laughs> the description on the item just says heals you for a medium amount of hell. Persona just has nothing much I can actually attack her with. But, oh well, I mean, it keeps him alive. That's all that matters. Hmm, I suppose that would miss, wouldn't it? That's really crappy damage. That's a nice party trick, girl. Oh, yeah, too late for that one. Because she switched to her other form. You like picking on Mark, don't you? How did you miss? Okay. Do, do, do. Let's um Oh, 
Whoa! Ah, okay, he lives. I mean, it, it, it is still fine. I have... I have 99 beads and 99 bomb of lives. Bo uh, bombs of life. So... And I have some some recarm too, so it's not it's not really a problem. It's just uh, hmm. it just kind of slows down my progress a little bit. So yeah, there's no reason not to keep everyone alive. I just realized. I, I mean, I'm not really in any trouble if I just skip now because I know what to expect. I just need to see if she uses some kind of buff or debuff. And if she does, well, it doesn't matter what it is exactly, I can just remove it anyway. I guess it was a little bit more important for me to use it in the first phase of the fight. In her first. Uh, in the first part of this boss fight. I don't know. Well, since I actually know what to expect, uh, well, maybe, yeah, I guess I didn't really need the animations any anyway. I think. I, I'm. I would guess that this feature of skipping the animations wasn't actually in the original, I, I guess. It just seems like one of the features which you wouldn't actually have in such an old game. I don't know, I'm just taking a guess. But it's, it's, yeah, it's nice to not have to see the animations. Even though they should still show some kind of text. So that you can actually see what the enemy is casting. Because that was really the problem the first time I did this fight, so... Because I couldn't see what she was casting and then... Uh, I wasn't really sure what to do. Like that, you can't see what she's actually casting, the name of... Oh, there we go. Sweet!